Hey party people, what's cracking? My name is Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to instantly and dramatically add punch to your video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now how do we do that? Well there's this little product that I created called Impact Lights and these are 350 real 2K, 4K and 5K hard hitting light effects. Now they're not CG, they're not generated in the box. I shot these in our studio using the Red Epic camera and I basically created these effects for my friends who are editors who are constantly being asked, hey, I need to punch this thing up. I need to add some stank to this. You know, it just depends on, on who your clients are. My corporate clients are like, uh, could you add a little bit of flair here? You know, 30% more punch. And my non-corporate clients are like, dude, I need you to drop some stank on this yesterday. Um, I get a lot of phone calls to stylize video. That's a, a huge percentage of my work for my editor friends are to add extra punch to the video. So I created these products so they could do it themselves. And of course, it's available to you as well. Why don't you jump on over to rampantdesigntools.com and that's my company and scroll down here to impact lights right here at the bottom. And as you can see, like I said before, we offer these impact lights in 2K, 4K and 5K. And they're really designed so you can drag and drop hard hitting effects on your timeline. Now, if you have impact lights, thank you for supporting us. You're my new BFF as always. But if you don't, it's okay too, because if you look in the description of this video, I'm giving you a handful of impact lights that you can use for free in 4K, so you can check them out and see what you think. All right, so let's jump into Premiere Pro. All right, now that we're in Premiere Pro, before I get started, as always, I just want to let you know that all of the effects that we create here at Rampant are QuickTime based, so you don't need Adobe Premiere Pro to use these. They work in all editors, all compositors, any software that can read QuickTime, you can use our, our, our effects in. That means you, know, you can use them in Final Cut Pro, in Motion, After Effects, Nuke, Shake, Vegas, whatever it is you use, we, our stuff works as long as it can read a QuickTime movie. Premiere Pro is my favorite editor of choice, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and do this tutorial in Premiere. If you're looking for other tutorials in other software, go ahead and, and leave a comment below and we'll go ahead and make those tutorials uh, for you. Uh, just to let you know, Final Cut Steph, uh, the other half of Rampant, she's doing a bunch of tutorials in Final Cut Pro right now. So we're uh, kind of tag teaming these effects and showing you in, in as many editors as we can, as quickly as we can. All right, so, a quick backstory on this particular effects library. I've been a visual effects artist for almost 20 years now, and a big percentage of my job is stank, adding stank to a video. Um, I know that sounds funny. Uh, my non-corporate clients are always saying, I need you to stankify this, I need you to drop some stank on it. My corporate clients are like, well, I, I'd like you to uh, punch this video up, you know, 20% or whatever. You know, um, a lot of the editors I work with too, uh, I work as a motion graphics guy or a visual effects uh, guy for them. Um, they're constantly saying, here's my timeline as a singular quick time movie, go ahead and add some style to it. And that's great. Uh, the problem is with budgets and time constraints, uh, it was becoming more and more difficult to fulfill the needs of my clients and my fellow editors. Um, so I created this library. I figured, well, if I can duplicate the effects you're looking for and give it to you in a way that you can use it very quickly, then uh, there's really no reason for uh, you to have to wait for my time and availability. So I went ahead and I shot this library in 5K, 4K, and 2K. I've got 350 clips and, I, and it's all real. It's in our studio and it's designed to help add punch to your motion graphics and any kind of video project that you can possibly think of. Um, I spent a couple years working for an in-house ad agency for the National Guard and one of the main kinds of videos that we produced were called HUA videos. And these are hard hitting, in your face military videos and they loved flashiness as transitions, as ways to punch up the video, it's, it's just grit. And uh, I created a library for the editors who are working on that so they can drag and drop grit and, and hard hitting effects. So that's basically what this is. This is a drag and drop hard hitting library. If you're doing any kind of music videos or anything that needs punch, uh, this is the library for you. All right, so let's go ahead and start at the beginning here and I'll just walk you through how these effects work. They're super, super easy to use. So let's take a look at this sequence here. I've got a quick sports sequence, got a lot of, a lot of flashes, a lot of transitions, a lot of hard hitting color, right? Cool, no problem. So let's um, go ahead and go to the same sequence but without any effects in it. All right, so I've got a BMX guy, then I've got a surfer and it's a pretty cool a pretty cool little cut here, but it needs something. You know, the footage is a little bit gritty. It's, you know, uh, it just needs some punch. Uh, speed ramping is great, but you know, the director wants more. Okay, so what do we do? Well, let's just go over here and uh, 
just go through any of our 350 clips. I mean, it's just, they're all different colors and shapes and different uh, dynamic effects and levels of punchiness, if that's a thing. And um, I tried my best to create as many different varieties as I could to give you the opportunity to uh, use these on any, on any particular shot that needed it. So I have already taken the liberty of pulling some selects here. So let's start here. I'm going to go ahead and use this clip right here. It's a lot of fun. You just see it just it comes up from the bottom and it's just it's pretty amazing. So we'll go ahead and drag this over my clip like so. Now all these clips are in 4K. You can get them in 2K, 4K or 5K. I'm using the 4K library and like I said you've got a bunch of uh, clips you can use for free. Just grab them in the download link in the description. But here's an issue though. What's going on here? I've got the color. It looks great, but it's I can't see my video. Well, two things. One, this is 4K, so it's much larger than my 1080p timeline. I can keep this as is if I like the way it looks, or I can shrink it down. That's the, the, the beauty of, of working in 4K. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and right click and hit scale to frame size. All right. So now I still can't see anything. So I'm double click on the element, go to effects controls, twirl down the opacity tab, and pull the blend mode from normal to screen. Now before I let go, all of these blend modes are awesome and they can all be utilized in one way or another. Take the time to experiment. You're going to find some really cool and great effects. The easiest one to start with is always going to be screen. You can also use linear dodge or add. If you're working in broadcast, be very careful about add. This could get you clipping and get you an illegal color. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, stick with screen. And now if I roll back here, see you've got this real great burn effect and it adds a lot. Cool, cool, all right. So uh, let's just keep this going. Let's add a few more clips to this, this scene here. Let's see what I want, that's cool. Let's try this bad boy here. Now, I'm gonna ru keep running into the same issue where I, it's not an issue, but I'm gonna have, keep running into the same thing where I'm gonna constantly have to double click and send the blend and change the blend mode in order to see my video. So instead of having to do that time and time again, I can go back to my, my original clip that I worked on, highlight opacity, and hit copy. Now if I just hit paste on the new clip, it's gonna automatically apply that same blend mode to that clip. See, I love how that effect pops just as the speed ramp kicks in really adds to the to the scene. So you have one clip and two clips. See, so you, you can have a lot of fun stacking these and rearranging the timing and just changing the color and the size. You can have a lot of fun adding punch to these videos and not really spend much time. It doesn't take a lot of effort to do this. All right, so let's add a couple more clips, just have uh, some fun and finish this thing out. I like this color here. This is a great like, purple and blue kind of effect. And it kind of matches the tonality of this shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that and throw it here for fun. Hit paste so I can copy my blend mode. Let's see what happens there. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Let's uh, let's go ahead and use this as a transition. That's the other great thing about this. It's not just flashes and light effects. You can use these as transitions. Let's go ahead and hit S for snapping and turn snapping off. Yeah, check that out. It's a really great way of creating a, a nice poppy transition. Boom, nice. Now let's add one more to it here. Let's see what I want. That's pretty cool. Let's do a golden one here. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and scale this frame size. Nice. And see where that thing comes from the right to the left, that light? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust the timing of that so it happens as the scene ends. I could probably go a couple frames this way. Nice. See how it just wipes the, the shot right off the frame? Wow. Nice. So that's the kind of thing that I created this for. It's just, it's all organic. It's, it can be uh, sped up. It can be resized. You can start stacking different ones on here. If you're, if, if you, if you're saying, well, there's this little pause here, there's this little blank spot. I just want to add something else. Feel free. Have a party. That's the great thing about this stuff. Let's mix and match it here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this side light here. 
right on top. Apply paste for the blend mode, scale the frame size. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see? Just now you've got all these cool light effects happening simultaneously and uh, it adds really great effect to the, to the scene. Right on. All right, so let's go over here to these motion graphics. I get asked a lot to spice up motion graphics. Now check this out. You've got this really cool render, and whether it was done in Cinema 4D or After Effects, it doesn't matter. But the point is, when something like this is delivered, odds are you're not going to have the time to go back and make any changes. So you get this cool edit, and it's cool, but it needs something. So, you know, of course, I'll speed ramp animations uh, when necessary. But, um, you know, sometimes speed ramping is not just enough. You see, it's, it's this cool little edit, but, you know, it needs something more. It needs some more pop. Like uh, maybe the director says these flares aren't enough and they're, they're just not popping enough. What, what can you do? Well, well, let's trust our uh, impact lights here to uh, dress things up. These are all really cool. Uh, yeah, let's try this one. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down again, just like last time. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Subtle yet effective. So once again, just like before, I'm going to go ahead and hit paste. So I don't have to change the blend mode again. See, that's kind of neat. I like that. Now, what if I want something right here? Let's, uh, let's find a clip here that works for us. I really like that as a transitionary piece. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Nice. See, as you're scrolling through, boom, it adds a little bit of flishy flashy during the, the cut. Really, really adds some pop to the edit. See, so as you can see, it's real, real simple to stylize this footage just by dragging and dropping a bin from your uh, bin to a timeline. I'm going to quickly just go over some of these other effects real quick too. It's, it's all the same. I mean, once you've done it once, you can do it a thousand times. So we've got this cool... Uh, shot of a bass player and a lead singer here from a music video. Again, just find a clip that you like. It, it, it doesn't matter. These all work really well. They were designed to be used in any situation. So here's a cool little flash transition. Bam. Um, and of course you can, that's at 4K, so I can shrink it down to see if I get a little bit more of an effect here. Nice. Whoa. So, um, this is a great thing to do if you have a client-based uh, or a supervised uh, session where you've got someone who's sitting behind you and you're working in a, in a supervised session. That way you can drag this on instantly and go, what do you think about that? Oh, I like that. Well, how about this other thing? All right, well, let's try to add this other thing real quick. You know, uh, we'll scale to frame size. We'll hit paste and be like, check this out, Mr. Client or Mrs. Client. What do you think? Oh, that's cool, but no, it's not the right thing I'm looking for. Okay, cool. So you have time to play, and it doesn't really cost you any any render time. It doesn't really cost you, um, you know, you're, you're not playing with sliders. You're not trying to figure something out. You're not constantly making adjustments. It's real quick and real simple. Go ahead and hit paste. So, yeah, that's probably not the right color scheme for this particular um, effect, but still very cool, you know. Let's find something more hard hitting for this guy. Yeah, here we go. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Yeah, see, there you go. Or you can put that over the bass player. Yeah, see, you're you can instantly change the feel. Let's go to uh, something a little less aggressive. I do a lot of, of work with um, fashion style videos, a lot of modern style videos. So, but they, they still want something else. They still want some color and some pop. So there's no reason why you can't add these types of effects to um, more modern videos without being so aggressive. That's why we created some of these with more purples and greens and not necessarily as fast or hard hitting. So we'll go ahead and scale to frame size and hit paste. See, very cool. Let's go ahead and use that as a transition instead. Slide it back. Pretty neat. See, I can have, I can play with this all day long. I mean, you, you get the point. This is just this is all the same, constantly over and over again. I'm just trying to show you how easy things are to use and how quick they are to implement. Uh, let's go ahead and just go to frame size, hit paste, boom. So, see, they're they're great as textures and they're also great as transitions. If I don't want to use that as a transition, just slide it into the middle of the shot. So you just add spice, especially if there's you know a limited camera movement or whatever. Really, really easy to use. And of course, 
One last thing I'm going to show you is on an action scene. I did a lot of this stuff for the National Guard and for the Marines. Um, same kind of thing. I mean, you just you, you just find the, the effect that works best for you. I like this edge light effect. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scale it down to the frame size. I'm going to hit paste. So it's very cool. I'm going to use that on this one here. Yeah. See, these work really well when you time them with speed ramps. They really accentuate the speed ramp without taking away from it. That's a great edge light, but let's add a little bit more color to it. So uh, let's find something else here. Yeah, this one's cool. Hit paste. The great thing is you can just keep sliding around until you find the right place for you. You can also use them as, as transitions, as, as we've always discussed. So anyway, as you can see, these are super, super simple to use. Uh, without me yapping on and on, it takes you about two seconds to drag a clip from your bin to your timeline, change the blend mode, and you're good to go. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or tutorial requests, hit us up on Twitter at Rampant Design or check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash rampantmedia. And of course, you can find more tutorials at rampantdesigntools.com. Until next time, I'm Sean Mullen for Rampant Design. Thanks for watching. <laughs>